Pneumothorax, thoracic masterclass. Pneumothorax, is defined as air within the pleural space separating the lung from the chest wall. Pneumothorax, could be spontaneous, or, traumatic, spontaneous pneumothorax, could be primary, or secondary, traumatic pneumothorax could be iatrogenic, or non-iatrogenic, iatrogenic traumatic pneumothorax may follow interventional procedures or barotrauma, while non-iatrogenic traumatic pneumothorax could follow, penetrating trauma or, blunt trauma. Types of pneumothorax, could be closed. There is a sealed pleural tear with intrapleural pressure less than atmospheric pressure, or open type, in this type there is an open pleural tear, and intrapleural pressure equals to atmospheric pressure, last is tension pneumothorax, there is pleural tear acting like ball and valve, intrapleural pressure more than atmospheric pressure. Pathophysiology, intrapleural pressure is negative throughout respiratory cycle. When air enters the pleural cavity, the negativity of intrapleural pressure is lost, leading to lung collapse and separation of the lung from the chest wall. Tension pneumothorax, is a condition when the intrapleural pressure exceeds atmospheric pressure leading to collapse of the lung, shift of mediastinum, and compression of the contralateral lung, caval compression leads to low cardiac output, and hemodynamic compromise. Primary spontaneous pneumothorax Follow rupture of apical bleb less than 3 cm either located in the apical segment of the upper lobe, and, or, lower lobe usually seen in males who are tall thin and smokers, linking with genetic disorders, such as Marfan syndrome, homocystinuria, Berthogdube syndrome, it may represent a form of interstitial emphysema. Secondary spontaneous pneumothorax, ruptured bile, due to pathological destruction of pulmonary parenchyma in patients with COPD, emphysema, cystic fibrosis, sarcoidosis, pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary infections for example TB, malignancy, either primary or metastatic cancer, catamenial, connective tissue disorders, rheumatoid arthritis. Presentation, a symptomatic if minimum pneumothorax, symptomatic, particularly in patients with underlying lung disease, usually presents with, severe chest pain. Stabbing in character and worsen with inspiration, it usually resolves within 24 hours. Shortness of breath, tension pneumothorax, presents with severe cardiorespiratory compromise and is an emergency. Clinical signs, respiratory and cardiac signs, respiratory signs presents with tachypnea, tracheal shift, diminished ipsilateral chest wall expansion, diminished breath sounds, diminished T-acti vocal pharematous, hyperresonance on percussion. An important note, patients on mechanical ventilation show sudden increase in airway pressure particularly peak and plateau pressures, should raise the suspicion of pneumothorax, cardiac the signs, tachycardia pulses paradoxus hypertension and increased jugular venous pressure. Radiological features, chest x-ray, erect and lateral decubitus, inspiratory and expiratory films are important to show pneumothorax. Difficult to assess on anteroposterior view in patients admitted to ICU, ultrasonography, HRCT scan. Features of chest X-ray, visible visceral pleural edge seen as a thin sharp, white line, no lung markings or seen peripheral to this line, the jet black sign, the peripheral space is radiolucent compared to adjacent lung, the lung may completely collapse. The mediastinum should not shift away from a pneumothorax unless attention pneumothorax is present, subcutaneous emphysema and pneumomediastinum may also be present. Other features of chest x-ray, deep sulcus sign, depressed diaphragm, double diaphragm, crisp silhouette cardiac sign. Left-sided pneumothorax. Right-sided pneumothorax. Deep sulcus sign. Double diaphragm sign. Depressed diaphragm sign. Right side attention pneumothorax with mediastinal shifts. Thoracic ultrasonography. Although the focused assessment with sonography in trauma examination has been part of advanced trauma life support for over a decade, the addition of a pneumothorax evaluation to this protocol to create the extended fast examination featured by absence of lung sliding, 
long points, barcode sign, a line sign can diagnose patients that are at the bedside without the need to transfer them to the radiology department. CT scan, particularly high resolution CT scan can detect small bully as small as less than 2 cm, can you determine occult pneumothorax, can differentiate primary from secondary pneumothorax, can detect underlying lung disease in second pneumothorax, in some cases detect an endobronchial lesion that may prevent lung expansion in cases with pneumothorax. Occult pneumothorax in CT scan Primary pneumothorax with upper lobe localized bola Bilateral bolus lung disease with secondary pneumothorax on the left side Bilateral bolus lung disease without pneumothorax Tension pneumothorax Depressed diaphragm sign The overall management options, conservative medical management, drainage, this can be achieved by aspiration, chest tube drain, and pleurodesis, surgical option, can be achieved by the resection of apical bulla, bullectomy, and pleurodesis, either chemical, mechanical, or pleurectomy. Conservative management, can be followed in, small stable pneumothorax less than 2 cm and in asymptomatic patients. The use of nasal oxygen at 2 to 3 L per minute can help resolving pneumothorax by gas displacement four times faster than without, needs hospitalization and daily follow-up regression of a pneumothorax. Drainage, this can be achieved by aspiration using 14 to 16 G cannula, have a success rate of 60% and although it was suggested by the British Thoracic Society guidelines its indication in practice is a vague, chest tube drainage has the success rate up to 80% and is indicated in traumatic pneumothorax, barotrauma, tension pneumothorax, hydropneumothorax, primary and secondary pneumothorax, pleurodesis a success rate up to 90%, can be achieved by chemical agents such as bleomycin, tauxlurry, tetracycline. Surgical intervention, principal repair and closure of air leaks, resection of bulla, and, or blebs, approach, lateral thoracotomy, transaxillary approach, video assisted thoracoscopic, produces either achieved chemically by talc powderage was 90% success rate or make any collaboration with 95% success rate or pleurectomy with up to 99% success rate. Tension pneumothorax, and emergency scenario that needs emergency decompression with a cannula inserted in the second intercostal space midclavicular line, it is a clinical diagnosis rather than radiological diagnosis, tube drainage placement should be done immediately, identify and treat the cause of the pathology. Prophylactic strategy, using low tidal volume protocol, limiting plateau pressure is below 30 cm water, pathophysiology, rupture alveoli near perivesical sheath with escape of air causing subcutaneous emphysema, pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, and, or pneumopericardium, high peak inspiratory pressure, plateau pressure, and positive end expiratory pressure have all been implicated as, risk factors for barotrauma. A small board tube drainage 14 to 20 French is enough, the tube should be placed in the area of anterior or posterior axillary lines, at the level of the fourth or fifth enter space, this area has relatively little muscle and placement here avoid potential injury to the pectoralis, the latissimus dorsi, the breast, and the axillary vessels, doubt usually leak stops and removal of the chest drain is better left until weaning from ventilator, rarely, 
Surgical control of fistula is needed however in severely ill patient and end-stage lung disease, surgical intervention should not be done. Catamenial pneumothorax is defined as recurrent pneumothorax in women during reproductive age without concomitant respiratory disease. It usually occurs in the period of 72 hours before or after menses. It is associated with a single or multiple fenestrations in their tenderness part of the diaphragm, red or brown spots, usually is located on the diaphragmatic or visceral pleuricum symptoms of pelvic endometriosis, secondary or primary infertility and previous gynecological procedures may suggest the diagnosis of catamenial pneumothorax in the course of endometriosis. Radiologically, it may be suspected in the in cases of pneumoperitoneum concomitant with right-sided pneumothorax. Additional criteria are extensive diaphragmatic defects, diaphragmatic hernia involving the liver and small diaphragmatic defects described as a filled bubbles, corresponding to perforations within the diaphragm, CT scan revealed endometrial noodles on the surface of the diaphragm. Radiologically, it may be suspected in the in cases of pneumoperitoneum concomitant with right-sided pneumothorax. Addition Hormonal therapy, this includes endometrial suppression therapy, using a variety of synthetic hormonal drugs to suspend the menstrual cycle, progestin therapy non-bioidentical showed low success rate, gonadotrophin releasing hormone therapy, non-bioidentical, induces chemical menopause but cannot be used over six months, bioidentical hormonal therapy showed variable success rate, hysterectomy, bilateral salpingoferectomy only if failed hormonal therapy. Pneumothorax and aviation are contained within any closed space will expand by up to 25% during flight and will do so more quickly on short flights as the aircraft ascend, close pneumothorax will increase from 25 to 30%. There is a risk of rupture of a large bulla, and death from cerebral air embolism has been described. If the lung is fully inflated 14 days after a recent traumatic pneumothorax flight is considered safe. If the lung is fully inflated seven days after a recent spontaneous pneumothorax, flight is considered safe. Patients can fly with chest drain provided lung is fully expanded and the tube is not blocked. Pneumothorax and scuba diving, according to Boyle's law, during ascent, as ambient pressure is reduced, gas inside the lungs expand and hence patients known to have blebs or a bullet are not allowed to scuba dive, as this may rupture causing fatal consequences. Patients with history of solitary pulmonary nodules and chest tube are also not allowed to drive as recurrence is high. Patients who underwent video-assisted thoracoscopy or thoracotomies for repair of a pneumothorax and pleurodesis are still not recommended for diving. Thank you.